I'm Jake Mansell with HHA Sports. Today we're gonna to go over how to convert your Tetra, Tetra Max, or Kingpin site over to one of our Hoyt model sites with the Picatinny rail and the Picatinny mount. So you'll be able to make this conversion with either a Kingpin Tetra or Tetra Max, as I mentioned before, on either a fixed frame or a dovetail. All it needs to have is the third access bracket. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab an Allen wrench, and you'll see that I have three screws that I need to take out uh, to disassemble the frame uh, from the rest of the site. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna find the correct wrench. I come in here, I'll loosen that. You're also gonna notice that you, there's a spring on the inside of this bracket. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're very careful to make sure that spring doesn't fly out. And I'm gonna take out this top screw. And I'm notice how I'm holding uh, the frame and the sight together to make sure that that spring does not pop out. I'm holding that tight. Turn this all the way out. Now I can feel it starting to pop. Take that out. And now once I have these two, I can slowly bring this apart. And you'll see I have my, my set screw that turns in my third axis, and then I have the spring. So you wanna make sure that you don't lose those three pieces. I'm also going to loosen the screw so it's flush with the outside. So now I'm gonna take my Picatinny rail mount I'm gonna grab the spring that I took out of my past frame. And you're gonna see that there's a little indented mark in this Picatinny rail. So I'm gonna take the spring with my sight. You'll see I have this big hole right here. I'm gonna drop that spring into the hole. I'm then gonna make sure that that spring lines up right into the hole on the Picatinny rail mount. So I'm then gonna take the mount, slide the sight in, I'm gonna press that together. I'm gonna to hold that together. I'm gonna to take my screw and drop that in. And I'll have to tighten that one as well. I'm gonna drop this screw in. Tighten that up. Snug it up and then I'll grab my wrench. Tighten that up. Grab my other wrench. Tighten this down. And now I'm gonna tighten that third access screw up a little bit to straighten my sight up. So I've now converted my Tetra bow sight into a Hoyt model sight that'll fit on an inline mounted uh, Picatinny rail sight. So now the next thing to do is gonna be to mount it to the Picatinny rail. So your Hoyt bow should have came with a Picatinny rail. We're now gonna install the sight onto the bowl. I'll loosen my Picatinny rail mount. Loosen that up, come around to the front. You're gonna wanna mount it on that middle line on the Picatinny rail. You can see there's three different lines. You'll wanna mount it to that middle one. Slide that in, hold it up. And I'm gonna tighten that down. So I have now mounted my new Tetra bow sight to my Hoyt bow on a Picatinny rail. For more information, you can visit our website at www.hhasports.com.